Agriculture is the largest source of livelihood in India. With 82% of Indian farmers being small and marginal, 70% of country's rural households still depend primarily on agriculture for their livelihood. And one segment that plays a crucial role in agriculture sector is agrochemical segment. Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my personal finance academy where I explain everything about money management in layman's language. India is one of the biggest players in chemical industry, which is already booming due to closure of various chemical factories in China, creating huge growth opportunity for Indian companies. So in this video, we will discuss one of the segment of chemical industry that is agrochemical. Now within agrochemical, there are two main categories. First is pesticide and the second is fertilizer. If you look at some of the key players in the Indian chemical sector, it includes UPL, which is a large cap company, PI Industries, Bayer Crop Science, Coromandel International, which are mid cap companies, and some companies in small cap segment include Rallies, Sumitomo Chemical, Chambal Fertilizer, etc. In this video, we will compare PI Industries, Sumitomo Chemical, and Bayer Crop Science, which are predominantly pesticide companies and fall in the mid cap and small cap category. We will start our analysis by understanding more about agrochemical business, key trends and future growth prospect of agrochemical business. Then we will briefly look at PI industry, Sumitomo Chemical and Bayer Crop Science. And finally, we will compare all three companies based on their financials. All right, let's get started. Agrochemical are manufactured to protect agriculture crop from pest and for increasing the crop productivity. They are mainly classified into pesticides and fertilizer. Pesticides are basically the chemicals used to destroy or control the pest which are harmful for plants. Whereas fertilizers are used to increase the crop productivity. Pesticides are again classified into insecticides to destroy the insects, herbicides to control or kill weeds and herbs, fungicides for controlling fungi, rodenticides to prevent spread of rodent like rat mice and finally biopesticides which are derived from natural substance from animal, plant, bacteria and certain minerals. And within pesticide, herbicide constitute 55% market while fungicides and insecticides contributes 23 and 22% respectively. If you look at the agrochemical business, crop protection chemical or CPC plays a vital role in reducing the crop losses from a range of insects herbs, fungus, rodents, etc. They play a significant role in improving yields and farm income. Having been dominated by synthetic products for many decades, this industry is now witnessing growing popularity of biopesticides, which are estimated to grow at a much faster rate due to government support and increasing awareness about use of non-toxic, environment-friendly pesticide. The biggest growth driver for crop protection chemical industry is government initiatives. Aimed at doubling of farmers' income, the union and several state governments have been running numerous support initiatives that put more money in the hands of farmer. Incorporated in 1947, PI Industries focuses on complex chemistry solution in agri and pharma sciences. PI Industries has a wide range of product in categories including insecticides, fungicides and herbicides. It has also got specialty products like BioVita granules, etc. Established in year 2000, Sumitomo Chemical India is a subsidiary of Japanese company Sumitomo, which was founded in year 1913. Sumitomo Chemical India has presence in all the product segments, insecticides, weedicides, fungicides, rodenticides, fumigants. It is also into animal nutrition and environment health businesses. Established in 1958, Bayer Crop Science is an Indian subsidiary of German company Bayer, which is one of the largest pharmaceutical and healthcare companies in the world. Bayer Crop Science is among the leaders in the area of crop protection, pest control seeds and plant biotechnology. The company develops and markets fungicides, insecticides, herbicides and seed treatment products. They use plant biotechnology and breeding to offer solutions for agriculture nutrition, health and biomaterials. If you look at the market cap, PI industry has a market cap of around 31,000 crore. Sumitomo has a market cap of around 15,000 crore and Bayer Crop Science has a market cap of rupees 23,000 crore. So in terms of market cap, PI industry is number one, 
followed with bear crop signs and then Sumitomo is number 3. In the last 5 years, PI industry share price has jumped from Rs. 667 to currently at Rs. 2250 at a CAGR of 27.5%. Sumitomo recently had the IPO in January 2020 and since then its share price has doubled from Rs. 167 to currently at Rs. 318. Bear crop science share price has jumped from Rs. 3400 to currently at 5190 at a CGR of 8.8%. So in terms of return in the last 5 years, PI industry has given fantastic return as compared to bear crop science. We can't compare Sumitomo chemical as it was listed only last year. However, it has given almost double the return in the last 1 year. If you look at the revenue, PI industry revenue have increased from Rs 1940 crore to currently at 3360 crore. Sumitomo revenues have increased from Rs 671 crore to currently at 2423 crore. And bear crop science revenue have been constant from Rs 3660 crore to currently at 3609 crore. As per the latest revenue figure, PI industry and bear crop science are at par and Sumitomo is at number 3 position although not too far behind. PI industry revenues have grown at a CAGR of 11.65%. Sumitomo revenues have grown at an exceptional CAGR of 29.29% and Bayer Crop Science revenue have shrunken by 0.28%. So in terms of revenue growth, Sumitomo Chemical is way far ahead of PI industry and Bayer Crop Science. If you look at the profits, PI industry's profits have increased from Rs 246 crore to currently at Rs 457 crore for FY20. Sumitomo profits have increased from 35 crore to currently at 206 crore. And Bayer Crop Science profit have increased from 383 crore to currently at 474 crore. Again, as per latest profit figure, PI industry and Bayer Crop Science are at par and Sumitomo is at third position. PI industry profit have grown at a CAGR of 13.19%. Sumitomo chemical profit have grown at an exceptional CAGR of 42.5%. And Bayer crop science profits have grown at a CAGR of 4.35%. So in terms of profit growth, Sumitomo chemical is way far ahead of PI industry and Bayer crop science. If you look at the return on equity, PI industry ROE for FY20 stood at 17.45%. Sumitomo chemical ROE is 17% and Bayer Crop Science ROE is 18.4%. So all three companies are at par in terms of ROE. However, Sumitomo chemical ROE is, is more consistent over the years. Hence, I would rank it at first position. If you look at the return on capital employed, PI Industries ROCE for FY20 stood at 20.18%. Sumitomo ROCE is 22% and Bayer Crop Science ROCE stood at 23%. Again, all three companies are at par in terms of ROCE. PI Industry Debt to Equity for FY20 stood at 0.2, Sumitomo Debt to Equity is 0.03 and Bayer Crop Science Debt to Equity is 0. So all three companies are comfortably placed in terms of their debt to equity ratio. PI Industry's promoter shareholding for FY20 stood at 46.57%, Sumitomo promoter shareholding stood at 75% and Bayer Crop Science promoter shareholding stood at 71.43%. So all three companies have good amount of holding from promoters which shows the trust of promoter in the company. Please note that the promoter shareholding in PI industry has reduced by 9% in the last 2 years and Sumitomo chemical shareholding has reduced by 6.6%. Bayer Crop Science promoter shareholding has increased by 3.99%. If you look at the valuations, PI industry share is currently trading at PE of 46. The median PE of the last 3 to 5 years is in between 36 to 41. So PI industry is currently trading slightly above its 3 to 5 year median PE and looking fairly valued. Sumitomo Chemical is currently trading at PE of 60. And considering the fact that it is growing much faster, it is available at decent valuation with a PEG ratio of 1.3. Bayer Crop Science is trading at a PE of 35 and 3 to 5 year median PE is 40. So it is currently trading below its median PE. So if we conclude, all three companies are key players in the agrochemical business in India. 
In terms of market cap, PI and Bear Crop Science are mid cap companies and Sumitomo is a relatively small cap company. In terms of profit and revenue size, PI and Bear are at par and Sumitomo is at third position as it is relatively small company. In terms of growth, Sumitomo is way ahead of PI and Bear Crop Science. Bear Crop Science growth has been sluggish in the last five years. And in terms of profitability, all three companies are doing good. In terms of debt to equity, again, all three companies are financially comfortable. Finally, in terms of valuation, PI and Sumitomo are looking fairly valued and Bear Crop Science is slightly undervalued. So which is your pick among all three companies? Let me know in the comments. And guys, next video on Friday is on fundamental analysis of Estrel Polytechnic. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Stay tuned and take care.